you know that game against Madrid I've got where everyone said don't play full strength just be full strength against Sheffield United everything I played I played I played for I played full strength it didn't go well it did not go well and when I said it didn't go well I'm saying it 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 really didn't go well. I didn't play a bow. I said I said play full strength. I didn't play. I didn't play fully full strength. It was pretty full strength though. We're not fully fit for Sheffield United. That's the longest short of it. Uh, we're going to play the second leg against Real today. Uh, having played Sheffield United, let's take a look then at the Premier League table as we are becoming very close to the end of this whole series. Of course, we will be keeping a close eye in this in this first game of what Chelsea do against Bournemouth. Fourteen plays Bournemouth. It might be a tough game for them. He says, hoping it'll be a tough game for them. Chelsea play. Bournemouth, Sheffield United and Everton to round off the season. It's a pretty routine few games for them. You'd expect them to do the job. But of course, ourselves, well, our running tomorrow. It's Liverpool and Newcastle is that a little bit tougher. But let's waste no time then. Sheffield United today. Let's run through the team. Before I, I, I hopefully a, a mes mesmeric comeback against Madrid in the semi-final of the Champions League. Although I'm not overly hopeful. So then, Castillo will be in goal for this one. Acacio, Ferrell, uh, Pintado and Nadielso at the back. This is where it starts to begin really. Brzezic is going to sit this one out. And Gassam, Gill, Agudovic and Roundrup all not fit for this. So we're not going to play them. At least they'll be fit for Madrid. Not an important view as you are right. Salah Alan Reyes then in central midfield with a bow, um, and Trout, do it do with Ishmael. You already know now then that that's not particularly strong. Although a bow Ishmael, we should be fine. It's the Randrup Aganovic situation. I'm really hoping that Randrup will be back for the last couple of games. If he's back for Liverpool and back for Newcastle, we have a real chance. But just to show you again, six to twelve days very very touch and go so i guess we'll have to wait and see let's get into this game then against sheffield united regardless of the team that we're putting out it should be a better side than that of sheffield united surely surely this is going to be a win for us i still haven't sorted the lights out in the office it's still quite dour in here but um you know fm22 around the corner we'll freshen it up all right then here we go it's sheffield united away from home at sheffield united but sh still should be pretty routine they've got a team full of very short names there that was fun to see as there we are in the 4-2-3-1. And say goodbye to the 4-2-3-1. Football manager have, have said that FM22, the 4-2-3-1 gig and press will not be as strong next year. So this is like, this is the last lap of a 4-2-3-1. He says, hoping, I don't know why I'm doing this like I'm a narrator. He says, hoping that that will actually be the case. And it's not, it's not just something they've said. So let's find out as the ball launched up towards their forward line. Ammon Trout on this straight away. And of course, an early goal wouldn't go miss at all. Let me can sort of focus on Bournemouth doing the business as Ammon Trout shot is just wide of course we want to keep an eye on what happens against the well, at the Bournemouth Chelsea game we'll keep a very very sharp eye on it as goals are going in around the grounds in the Premier League but so far nothing happening over there as Reyes well he nearly lost out this is the type of game in recent season back end of the season where we need to win we have thrown away all too often now we're fully fit for this we're not taking any risks fitness wise of course the players not featuring i probably should have put a few of them on the bench i'm realizing but still um we're we're, we're definitely strong enough to win this game regardless of who's out there as ishmael does a little bit of hold up play finds a bow back to do it do -woo. dangerous attack this from thames if they can stop it do it do -woo. acres of space it should be the goal really no one trout keeps it alive although susa deals with it in sheffield united just about hang on it's bournemouth take it oh no this is so much worse bournemouth have scored nikot has got the goal and now then, we are oh, Chelsea have equalised with a penalty. But regardless, really, we have to score a goal. We're going to go more attacking. We're going to work it into the box. We're not going to pass into space. I'm slowing everything down away from home a little bit. But Bournemouth showing me they've got a little bit of something, something over there. And now then, that means that we have to do our job here. So far, a very, very passive first half. Sheffield United, I was going to say hanging on, but not really. Team talk wise, we're going to try and give them everything. We need a goal and we need it now. Now look, the reality is I would expect Bournemouth to fall away against Chelsea. The longer that game goes on, the more I expect the quality of Chelsea to have an impact. But none of that matters unless we get a goal to put us in the lead. And then we can manage what happens here as well as hope for good things over at Bournemouth. Come on, lads. There's three games to go. I really, I really want to win the league. Otherwise, this season will have been oh so depressing as uh, the Baltimore's air and trout not particularly good. They clear it away. But so far in this game, at least, it feels like we're definitely on the front foot. We've not seen anything from, she from Sheffield United yet. As Oh, oh no, Ferran's in. It's a big chance of got a score. I can't believe it. 
Oh, we're going to bin it off. We're going to bin it off. We're going to bin it off, aren't we? We're going to bin it off. I can't believe what I'm watching. Braziz is watching on the sidelines, questioning everything. As now, because... Oh, oh Bournemouth have scored. There's been a red card. Oh, my God. Okay, no, no, no. This is so much worse now. Okay, I'm pretty sure I saw it for like half a second. I hope I saw it right. As it spells in, got to score, my friends. You have to score and does score. Okay, back in the game. I think Chelsea... I, I might have seen it wrong. I think Chelsea are down to ten men. I think we can. Can we sit on like the live scores thing or something? This is this is not this is not good. I need to know what's going on. It's gone off the page of, of results, so I don't know. Ishmael gets his goal though. Back on level terms. Hopefully this is the swing of momentum we need right now. I can't. Why doesn't it work, viewers? But fifty-three points. So eighty-three points. Suggest that they are losing. There it is, actually. You can see it there. There's been a goal at Bournemouth Stadium. Bournemouth lead. I'm pretty sure, although, again, I can't see this, that they've gone down a goal, a, a goal as well. Or a man, sorry. So this is... This is maybe on, but again, it all matters on if we can do the job here and if we can get a goal against the Sheffield United side that so far we've been pretty good against all in all. Is there to be a change here that we should make? I'm going oh, Maybe I'm trying, but I'm just got the assist. It's difficult. Malon maybe to come on centrally it's, it's, this is a very awkward time i'm realizing to make a sub there's not really a change that makes a great deal of sense in fact we're just going to encourage and carry on and hope that bournemouth continue to give us a little bit of life in this and send us into tomorrow with a real chance eddie elso we've got to win the game though boys it doesn't matter what happens unless we win it eddie elso back on it again Oh, lads, please, I need a goal. Ishmael, is he on side? Surely not. He's, the, the flag's gone up. He's not on side. There's about 15, 20 minutes to go. And can we now get the all-important goal? We I, I, This is this will be heartbreaking, really. If Chelsea lose to Bournemouth and we don't find a way to win this, that will be terrible. Erman Trout, right side, known for his striking ability, of course, but has got an assist in this game. It comes to Salatiel in a little bit of space. Four towards Ishmael. Big chance. Oh, my boy, come on. Now we're talking. Ishmael gets the goal. He's 50... Oh, goodness me, I didn't even realise. 57th goal of the season. Frishmail, come on the lads come on now we're talking can you tell my office is a little bit further away from the bedrooms because i could be a bit louder now ishmael with the goal 2-1 okay now attention turns shells move top of the table oh another goal another goal wouldn't go missed do you hold on or do you go for that third goal i don't want to invite any type of sheffield united pressure on they've really got nothing to lose salatiel keeps it do it do we out to this side and suddenly sheffield united don't look anywhere near as good as they were in the first half but there was a little bit of danger from them now and again acacio gets up with the header reyes under it salatiel please boys ishmael on it fix back to do it do i just saw someone get past their man pull it across do it do we he's taking it out wide why on earth have you done it back to early elso onto the edge of salatiel back to early elso someone score a goal it's into the window woo he scores it's offside i'm devastated oh no thames two sheffield united one it counts for nothing i'm go i'm just gonna stay as we are i'm pretty sure chelsea are dropping points right now we need that to carry on being the case as there's gonna be i don't need the highlight there's gonna be a highlight with three minutes to go I'm just hoping this is us sealing the deal with our quality and not a Sheffield United breakaway. As Salasiel's headed towards Ishmael, knocked down, Reyes. It feels like another goal is there for us. If we can nab it, it would calm me right down. Acacio, it's a great tackle. And now, oh, good, no, oh, no, 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 no. We don't need this. Okay, we're there first. Eddie Elso, brilliant from him. Into a bow. The quality. Erman Schrout, Ishmael's making constant runs. Erman Schrout, oh, okay, well... At, at the very least let's waste time frequently at the very very least and as as there's a moment here as well do it duo off uh Malon's gonna come on sorry sorry below not today as surely that's that substitution the time ticking away it's a late corner for Sheffield United oh my god no oh my god no I created a lot of static on my microphone
How did they get a corner? How did they get the corner? I didn't go defensive because... Oh, some people aren't going to listen. I made the change. I thought it was done. And they've scored from a corner. I can't believe it. I've, I've never been... I'm doing a video here, I realise. I've never been stunned into silence quite so dramatically on a day where Bournemouth do us the biggest favour ever. We find a way to bin it off. Oh my God. Oh my God. And now I'm supposed to play Real Madrid. Oh my God. Okay, well, we're closer than we were a game... <sighs> we're closer than we were a game ago, viewers. We're closer than we were a game ago. Oh, I can't even. I can't even. I can't even pretend this is okay. It's moments like this, and the previous temp series, for that matter, that you realise I play this as legit as I can play it. <laughs> and the pain that comes with that is not in my control. I am, when I play these saves on YouTube or on Twitch or whatever, I am heart on sleeve moments constantly because this is all I play. I don't play football manager in my free time. Like this is what I do for a job. And this is the, my enjoyment of football manager comes through these videos. And also my pain of football manager comes through. You get to watch it. I want to end the series with a, with a Premier League win, but I want to earn it. And right now, we haven't earned it. What do we do now? Do we just play Real Madrid like everything's fine? I play Liverpool. Do I bin off? Do I now? Do I just do I just say to this game now, like whatever? Does it even matter? Do, do, do I just have the strongest possible lineup? We're three 0 down anyway. I mean, do we just see it off and know that we've got a fully fit squad for Liverpool and Newcastle? What else could? I can't believe they've scored a last minute header. I think that's the first corner I've conceded all season. It's my fourth goal conceded from corners all season. Fair enough, fourth. But still, not many. If only there was a data hub where I could have found that quicker. I can't believe it. All right, team-wise for this one, it's tricky because we've got so many players that are kind of fresh. For this, I'm, I'm going to make wholesale changes throughout the team. Uh, I'm going to play a couple of boys that didn't play in the last one, though, just for sort of balance reasons, I guess. Um, Eddie also for yeah, I mean yeah, makes sense. I, I, I am, I'm devastated. Okay, <laughs> let's just play it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, something new throat bent. Yep, yeah, just sadness. Uh, right, let's see how we do. Uh, we'll keep this a little brief because we won't go through the whole game as we, as we did against Sheffield United. This one means not nearly as much. But if we win it four 0 I mean happy days. Yeah, I'm gonna do this as updates. So when there's a when there's a 3D highlight, that's when we'll be back. Uh, we'll stay for this first one. We'll see. We'll see how the first moments go as uh, Elmer and Melon contribute. I mean, it'd be a good time to score. Ten minutes in to round the series off with the Champions League final wouldn't go amiss. But um, it's not the way. Oh God. Okay. Uh, he's just we're just letting him do that, are we? Right. Well, we save it, but that wasn't great. The goal. I've just conceded. <laughs> if <there's... laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to Lally here. Yeah? Uh, this, this is the goal we've just conceded, viewers. You'd, I, 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 there's no words for this, really. <laughs> it's whatever. 1-0 Madrid. I think they're all right. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm doing the highlights as sort of like the replays. We're going to need five goals here, viewers. Um, Malon has just scored an absolute screamer, though. I can't not show you this one. This one was too good. As the ball's played in... Melon nips in brilliantly, it must be said. And then an unbelievable strike from distance. He's such a good player. If I was here for another five years, like if a bow was sold on, Melon's almost ready to just be the guy, I think. Ah, we're dead. <laughs> I'll see you at the end of the game, viewers, for full time. That that will do it, I reckon. I mean, Mete Below has got, got, got an assist in a semi-final of the Champions League. Not something I was expecting in this series, but we'll take it. We're going to need four goals here. I don't think it's going to happen. Are we going to win the game? It'd be nice if we win the game and gas them. Okay, well, I thought we were going to win the game and then we went backwards. Oh, forget it. I know, we're going to lose the game. Okay, right, well, it's been a great episode this viewers. Honestly, it's been, it's been top notch. If, if there's one thing I love, it's a goal in the last minute of the game. It's so great, isn't it? So good. Thames 2, Real Madrid 3. I'm, I am in tears. 
Not for not for this one. I'm just not over the Sheffield United game at all. Hopefully that's the start of a, of a collapse for Chelsea, says the man that lost in the last minute. Okay. All right then, out of the Champions League, a semi-final. Still pretty impressive, of course. Impressive, but of course, last year we won it. So it could be worse. Um, if you're looking forward to the final two episodes of Thames, do leave a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe. Tomorrow then, and this is quite sad really, it's the end of the series. We have bottled it. We love to get rid of the next time. Take care, everybody. See you tomorrow. You're probably just going to think I'm really unlucky in the comments. I can't imagine anyone's going to go at me for not wasting time and making changes and going defensive. Ugh.